Dear colleagues, I am not going to speak about good and bad fellows here. I will rather tell you about one big fellow who wants to keep his wife while beating her every day. Yes, it's about Russia and Ukraine. Of course, I don't think they are like spouses married forever. But what our big fellow really strives to achieve? The only thing that he could get, could get is to make run away from him. During the security days in Vienna, Mr. Igor Ivanov, the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, the same who signed the Istanbul Declaration of 1999, said he couldn't understand why the Baltic countries have joined the NATO. Today, after the invasion, occupation, and annexation of Crimea by Russia, every mentally healthy Lithuanian, Latvian, or Estonian can only say how right and proper was the step made 10 years ago, and how horrifying the reality could be for us now if we hadn't made so. The declared intention of the Russian leader to recollect so-called Russian territories speaks for itself. If the number of countries choosing NATO membership increases, it will be no surprise. But the question is, if that is the original goal of the Russian authority, Budgets for defense of the NATO countries will be increased, defense forces strengthened. Is this the real task of Kremlin? Recently, we have heard threatening towards Ukraine by Russian authorities and by Gazprom about their readiness to punish even the states of the EU customers of Gazprom, which would be trying to rescue Ukraine by providing it with natural gas by reverse. What type of new energy Golodomor is being prepared for the Ukrainian economy and its people? I cordially address our Russian colleagues with an appeal to do everything possible to change the policy of revenge and destruction and to quit the old-fashioned uh, imperialistic ideology. Countries that openly ignore existing international agreements disrupt mutual trust, which is a critical precondition and the essence of cooperation. This policy leads only to division, confrontation, or even new wars, nothing else. To return to the principles of our countries, uh, we have agreed to in Helsinki 40 years ago would be much better, much better than sending tanks to Ukraine.